You know, they say knowledge is its own reward. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes, of course. I'm simply trying to understand the reason for my decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find the Thalmor received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the College, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yes, of course. The Archmage has my thanks. Very good. Then we're done here. Welcome to the College. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour, and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Wonderful. Please follow me, and don't wander off. The College of Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the College, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never hurts to be prepared. Our newest members are housed here, in the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. Initially, you'll be learning from Tolfdir, one of our most esteemed wizards. I think the college is due for a change in leadership. If you're working on any experiments, please clean up after yourself. Tolfdir is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. Welcome, welcome. We were just beginning. Please, stay and listen. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. 
Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Well, your classmates certainly seem to disagree with you. No, oh, don't listen to her. We can do it. Just give us a chance. All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with a demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? <clears throat> That's what this lesson is for. Perfect time to try it out. Now, if you'll just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over there, please, just opposite me. Want anyone else in the way? Now, look at the and keep it sure you shouldn't be home. You have to keep your ward up, or else this won't work. I don't want to hurt you. Over there, please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, hold still. What you learn here will last you a life. Several, if you're talented. Over there, please. Just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. Hold still. Excellent work. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing with wards, please. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthol nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. It's no secret that the college's reputation You are new, Skyrim. yes? Have you mastered the expert level destruction spells yet? Is it? Gisargo hoped there might be one who could keep pace with his accomplishments. Oh yes, Gisargo hopes to find things that will make him a more powerful mage. Hopefully small things that fit inside pockets and will not be noticed if they are missing. There is much for Gisargo to be sure of. There is skill in magic, there is charm and there is a strong will. Jezargo will be successful. Of this there is no doubt. Until next time. Enchanting services are one of the few... I'm sure you can figure it out on your own. If you can't, perhaps... My pleasure. Mm -hmm. If you require assistance with summoning techniques, please let me know. If you would, please also contain your summons to the college grounds. The locals do not need to be agitated further by Atronachs roaming their town. The summoning of undead is even less advisable outside the college. I'll teach you some of what I know, but be careful. So, you wish to master the arcane arts?
uh, until next time. There are few pl Huh? You... you can see me? Confound it all, I was quite sure I was invisible. Or at least transparent. Take a look. Good day. You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you require assistance? If you're feeling adventurous, I'm always looking for someone to procure valuable books from some more dangerous locations. Well, all right, here. I scribbled down the last place I'd heard about. Check it out, but be careful. Of course I do. If I didn't, most of these books would have been burned to ashes or dissolved to nothing before the Third Era. Mages need to be reminded to be careful around research materials. A mage is only as good as what he knows. I try to make sure as much knowledge is available as possible. We've been keeping this collection since the Second Era. Books have come and gone during that time, but it's mostly intact. As a matter of fact, there are. Have you ever heard of Shalador? Immensely powerful mage, back in the First Era. Had an understanding of magic few have ever matched. He holed himself up in Labyrinthian and devoted all his time to research and study, but more than you would imagine possible. Since then, his writings have been scattered all over Skyrim, but are little use to anyone who can't translate them. I'm one of the few who can. I've heard whispers of more of his work having turned up. If you can track it down, it may prove useful to all of us. I have a few things laying around that weren't worth adding to the collection. You may look through them. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand girl? I knew it. Everyone comes in here expecting my help, but they don't even have the proper questions. An Elder Scroll is an instrument of immense knowledge and power. To read an Elder Scroll, a person must have the most rigorously trained mind, or else risk madness. Even so, the Divines usually take the reader's sight as a price. The simplest way to put it is knowledge, but there's nothing simple about an Elder Scroll. It's a reflection of all possible futures and all possible pasts. Each reader sees different reflections through different lenses, and may come away with a different reading. But at the same time, all of it is true, even the falsehoods, especially the falsehoods. It would take a month to explain to you how that very question doesn't even make sense. The scrolls exist here, with us, but also beyond and beneath, before and after. They are bits of divine made substance, so we could know them. Sorry, talking about the scrolls, you usually end up in irritating and vague metaphors like that. Some people who study them devoutly go mad. Ha! Ah. You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. What about... Wait, are you... Were you the one the Greybeards were calling? I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. 
It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Until next time. Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Or we... Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls. But, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Oh no, I hope not. But even I haven't seen him in years. And we were close. Became obsessed with the Dwemer. Took off north saying he had found some old artifact. Haven't seen him since. Somewhere in the ice fields, if you want to try to find him. Are you feeling sick? bit of advice. Even with the college's laid-back attitude, there are still some things that are off-limits. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid.
swimmer in the beyond. I'll know your lost unknown and rise to your... Elder Scrolls, indeed. The Empire, they absconded with them. Or so they think. The ones they saw. Ah, the ones they thought they saw. I know of one. Forgotten. Sequestered. But I cannot go to it, not poor Septimus, for I, I have arisen beyond its grasp. Here. Well, here as in this plain. Mundus, Tamriel, nearby, relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mzark. Offhand, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. Two things I have for you, two shapes. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle, and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its Sky Dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. Good to have you by my side, friend. I need reliable people around. Need supplies? See Bella for where to store. You're someone looking to protect yourself or deal some damage.
Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything.